You saw that the runs kind of in that were setting up there between the center backs. Where did you see on the, the goal? Which goal? Which goal? Uh, Borg's goal. Borg's goal? Yes. Uh, that was the second goal, right? Yeah. Uh, no, nothing. I, I mean, I was able to get the ball. Uh, uh, I thought Harris was going to play me first, the ball, but he switched it over to Marcus, and I knew that he was going to win that ball over the, the defender. And uh, for me, I just make those runs uh, that I've been making pretty much all year in between the uh, center back and outside back. And as soon as I saw the, the uh, Borks run and the center back, uh, I knew Bork was going to get behind him. So all I got to do is just put it in space and just, you know, perfect ball. And Bork had, had a heck of a finish. So it was a good goal. How important uh, was today and uh, the, uh, what you've seen from him that made him so productive today or, or his progression over the season? Yeah, I mean, I, I love what I saw from him today, you know. Uh, we talked all year about how we need to push everybody. Uh, nobody's guaranteed a spot on this team, uh, whether that's me as a captain or uh, uh, no matter if you're a DP or a young guy, you know, everybody has to fight for the position. So to see him now, he's been, been knocking on the door the whole the whole uh, season, you know, training well and stuff. So, you know, it pays dividends to, to work hard in training. And today he showed what he's capable of. And, you know, he's, he's, he's a talented boy. So uh, hopefully he keeps progressing. And it's great to see him do things that he did today. Except uh, I got a little mad at him in the first half because I think he, he could have squared two balls that, you know, that uh, we could have put away, which is the only critical thing I think I have with the team today is that we should have killed the game off in the first half, you know, scored four. But we made it hard on ourselves again and a little bit in the second half. But... Yeah, I saw great stuff from Marcus out there. I know Bork kind of mentioned the same thing you just mentioned about wanting to kill game off earlier in the first half of the way you guys were playing. Is that just, you know, you score four goals, but that's, you know, we have to reach that high standard of making sure they don't Yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of the standard we want over here. We want to be always demanding more of, of each other. Um, and I think uh, if we are going to be critical, I mean, you look at the scoreline 4-1, but how can you be critical? But I think, yeah, the first half, we could have killed the game off easily. I mean, I had a, a long shot from range that I should have probably put in on target. Uh, we had a lot of chances. Nick made some good saves, too. But then, like I said, the, the balls that Marcus uh, had him behind, I think he had an outstanding game. But I think if he gets his head up, he could have squared to Fafa. And then the second one where he tried to play me and CJ was just too too hard. But those are just the chances we need to, you know, kill the teams off. Because uh, I think too many times this season we have uh, had some good chances, but we don't, you know, convert. And it's, it's cost us games and points. So, um, but if anything, you know, we just need to do better offensively a little bit. But defensively today, I was proud of uh, the team, the intensity, the way we pressed. And, uh, you know, Salt Lake had really not many chances in, in the first half other than Drake making up some, you know, saves that he, he, he always makes. But uh, it was overall good effort from the whole team, which I'm happy about. Thank you, Ali. Thanks, guys.